You are beautiful. He speaks English. It's wolf talk. That's international. Vivian's all right. She catches on pretty quick. Oh, well, I taught her a few steps when her father wasn't around. I might have known. You know, Mrs. Potter was a great dancer herself in her day. Really? Gosh, she was so smooth, she could waltz around with a glass of beer on her bustle and never disturb the foam. <laughs> well, I guess Vivian takes after her. A block of the old chip, huh? No love, no nothing Until my baby comes home No, sir that international favorite, Tony DeMarco. You never saw a place like this in your life. Hello, kids. Hello. There you are. Now, wait a minute, I'll get to the other one. Now, this place gives me a very uneasy feeling, A.J. Shame on you. Give me your hat and get your mind off your wife. Now, that hat's all right. Yes, your hat's all right. That's my hat. She knows it. Never lost one in her life. Now, see here, A.J. I should have been more firm. When I told you that I am never seen in places like this, I meant it. I don't know how you've managed to get me this far. I should have put my foot down. Don't be a square from Delaware. Get hep to yourself. What kind of talk is that? I heard it on a jukebox. Well, I don't think I like it. Well, have it done, Mr. Mason. Thank you, Harvey. Come on, Foxy. Hey, Phil. Do those two come here very often? <laughs> I haven't seen the mortician before, but that old mountain goat in the blue surge comes leaping in here two or three times a week. That old mountain goat happens to be my father. <laughs> well, you see, I like goats. Uh, lovely animals. Some of my best friends are. Uh, have another goat, or uh, a beer. <laughs> no, thanks. I think I'll horn in on the old goat. The usual lemonades. What'd you order? Lemonade. How do you like Tony DeMarco? Great, isn't he? That woman's his wife, because if she's not, there should be a law. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's good, eh? <laughs> A.J., look, we have company. 
What are you doing here? Well, I was about to ask you the same thing. Oh, well, we just uh, just dropped in for a nightcap. We missed the Westchester train, and Potter here suggested Nothing of that, the kind. Uh, Andy, this is entirely your father's idea. What? Yes. See here, young man, I thought you had to get back to your outfit. Well, I do, but I didn't say when. I've got till Monday morning. How about you? Did Mrs. Potter give you a furlough, too? <laughs> I promised my wife I'd be home before midnight. I like to keep my promises. She expects me to, and I expect her to expect me to. <laughs>